Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at erosion, transportation and deposition. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, Coastal Landscapes. The processes of erosion, transportation and deposition play a huge role in shaping the coastline. We're going to start off by talking about erosion. This is the wearing of weight of rock and there are four specific processes that you need to know. Firstly, we have hydraulic action. This is where the force of the water erodes the rock. The waves pound the base of the cliffs, forcing water into cracks. As the water goes into these rocks, the air compresses, and as it leaves, the pressure is suddenly released, which breaks down the rock from inside, with some of the rock coming off in large chunks. We also have abrasion, where sand and shingle is hurled at the cliff base by the sea, which scratches and scrapes the rock, wearing it down and this occurs more in storm conditions. We also have attrition. This is where material being carried by the sea is worn down as pebbles and rocks collide with each other. This will wear away the sharp edges over time to create rounded and smooth pebbles. The rocks may collide with such force that they can break into much smaller pieces. And our last erosional process is solution, where the chemicals in the water react with the minerals in the rocks to dissolve them. This is particularly effective in certain types of rocks, such as limestone and chalk. The rate of erosion is much higher when the waves reaching the coastline have a large fetch, so they have time to build up. It's also higher when there are strong winds and when the beach is not very wide, so there is less material to absorb the wave's energy. Finally, if the rocks are soft, they are less resistant to erosion, and if they have lots of joints, they are weaker. These both mean that they are more likely to erode. Let's move on to transportation. This is a movement of material by the sea. The material carried by the sea is called load, and is usually material that has been eroded and picked up by the waves. Load varies from large rocks to fine silt, but there are four specific processes of transportation that you need to know. Traction is where large rocks and boulders are rolled along the seafloor. We then have saltation, where small stones and pebbles are bounced along the seafloor. Moving on to suspension, where light material is held in suspension just below the sea surface, which we call suspended load, and this is what often makes the sea look dirty when actually it's not quite as polluted as we might think. And finally we have solution. This is where minerals are dissolved in the water and tiny invisible particles are transported by the sea. Although we need to make sure we do not confuse this with the erosional process of solution. Remember that these erosion and transportation processes are the same for river landscapes which hopefully will make them easier to revise. However, there is one process of transportation that is specific to coastal landscapes. This is longshore drift and is the movement of material along the coastline in a zigzag fashion. Waves hit the coastline at an angle, the same direction as the wind. So the swash goes onto the beach at an oblique angle. Once the waves break, the backwash returns to the sea at right angles to the coastline. This is due to gravity. This movement is repeated, transporting material from one end of the beach to the other, as in the diagram on the screen. Let's finish this video by talking about deposition. This is where waves lose their energy, so drop the sediment load that they were carrying. This adds sediment to the beach, so builds it up. Deposition occurs when the sea is shallow and sheltered, such as in a bay or behind a spit, where there is a large source of sediment, where there is a large flat beach which causes a backwash to weaken due to friction so it can't drag material out to sea, and where there are structures such as groins to trap sediment. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on erosion, transportation and deposition. Thank you for watching.